Hey, what's up, everybody? It's James checking back in with another video. It's Saturday here, the weekend, and uh, instead of hanging out, I'm just going to be spending the day doing some coding. I have a couple meetings today. I try to schedule my meetings for Saturdays just so I can get them all out of the way in one day. So I figured I'd just take you guys along with me. Today I'm doing it from my co-working space here. We have a place called Common Desk, and it's pretty sick. I'm showing you guys around right now. There's a bunch of different areas. It, it tries to do like a homey vibe. There's even like this little vinyl player section. This this co-working space is cool because they even have an area with monitors and desks. So you could just set up, plug in your computer, bring your mouse and everything. And it's freaking huge. Like, it's huge. Yeah, I, I walk around this thing and I got lost trying to go to the bathroom because it's all the way down this hall right here. Yeah, all the way at the end. One bathroom. Terrible design. But, yeah, today it'll be chill. I'm going to be doing some meetings. I have one. I'm working on two side projects right now. One of them is the travel app, which I'm doing with my boy Phil and another guy named Matt. So we're working on that app together. And then I have another new one that I'm working on. And that one's going to be a little bit more stealthy. I really like the idea, but it's going to be a finance one. So, yeah, gonna do these meetings, fix some bugs, and hopefully plan for the week. I've been struggling a lot lately with that. Just the weeks are just going by so fast. We're already in March, and I am i don't feel like I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. So I'm trying to focus on planning my week ahead of time, but it's kind of hard. So I'm trying to come up with a system to just keep organized, but I get caught up in, you know, productivity hell all the different tools do I use notion like everybody's using what organization method I think I just need to find one that works for me just so I can organize all my different projects the travel app is coming along pretty cool though we're almost ready to launch at least more like a, a beta so far we have a lot of friends just using it and giving us some data and finding bugs and it's been a lot of fun right now what we're talking about today is we're working through our map feature which is going to help you discover new places and just find places that your friends are enjoying going so hopefully a lot of people will like the idea but I'm, I'm excited about it I think it'll be fun I, I love using the app personally so like when I travel I'll just add places to the app and just you know keep track of where I enjoy going Updates for the app for me this week though have been kind of not as fun. I'm not really doing new features right now. My other co-founder is doing that. I'm really working on re-architecturing the app to use clean architecture like I talked about in my other video. I've been loving it. Our project's kind of grown to a beast and I just need to clean it up a little bit, literally. So that's kind of been what I've been focusing on with this project. I'm more in maintenance mode right now and I'm letting them kind of do the the last new feature finished up my last meeting for the day didn't really get to do any work yet and I know these videos where I'm just like doing meetings and stuff isn't the most fun I just want to show you guys another side to software development or at least the freelancing side of it so now that the meetings are done I'm gonna start bug hunting I found a ton of bugs in the travel app so I'm just going to kind of go back and, and fix some of those. That way my other teammates can focus on just doing the new features. So I'll just support them like this. Some of the bugs, they're small. Some of them are like truncating issues where the, some of the ratings, we allow you to rate a place in the app. And some of the ratings are just going to like 4.66666 or something like that. So just need to see how that data is coming in, parse it out properly. Also, I want to reorganize this app to use clean, like I talked about in my other video. So that's been a fun learning journey. This year, along with the goals of launching these apps, I really want to dive deeper and just get a, a deeper understanding of just languages and frameworks and different software methodologies. And just, I, I've never been that strong in object-oriented principles. So I'm really trying to get deeper in there and just work on some different things so that's kind of my goal with this project pin which is the travel app as you guys can see like it's coming along I like the design 
but with the finance app now to, to push that learning forward it's gonna be nice because it's, it's SQL database and I haven't done SQL in a while and I'll also be using Python which I have not really built anything with Python before so it's gonna be fun kinda being new at something again you know not knowing how to do you know what I need to do and just learning a new language altogether Python's so different than other languages I'm not a lie I'm not loving it so far I think I'm gonna try to also focus on experimenting with different types of videos I I don't know if these these vlogging type videos are interesting or not sometimes I feel like they'd be a little bit boring just watching me code all day and talk about what I did so I'm gonna try maybe doing some educational videos and maybe some more personal style vlogs where I talk to you guys more maybe you like the ones with the timestamps let me know in the comments I want to do more of the content that you guys like or just stuff that's helpful you know maybe you want to learn how to get into tech or where you should start so you know comment let me know what you want to see and subscribe like the video I appreciate it